So tonight I'm working inside of the OBX again. It's, uh, last time I worked on this machine was probably about two years ago now. And when I was working on it, I was replacing, uh, I think it might have been actually these two transistors. Although, uh, either that or these. I had an issue with, uh, what was it? I forget now. Something wasn't doing what it was supposed to, anyhow. And, uh, it turned out to be a bad field effect transistor, so... Tonight, it's here because, uh... Well, I'll show you. And I press key. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn off this light here so you can see as we cycle through voices a little better. So that voice right there has been having problems where it just does not stay in tune. Uh, when you try to auto-tune it, it doesn't stay in tune properly. It won't tune properly at all. Um, this voice here, voice 3, tends to be a bit flaky. When I first turned it on, it wasn't making any sound at all. And I discovered that uh, it's putting a little pressure on the board, so it's a, it's a mechanical issue. Or electromechanical issue with... Uh, these contacts here. What I had done at first is I just tried pressing on a couple of the ICs and reseat them in their sockets and it's actually this one here I discovered if I pressed on it it would make sound again. Uh, then I also kind of pushed on these connectors here and it behaved uh, a little bit more consistently. So what it would do before that <coughs> is it wouldn't make any sound at all. If I hold down the key and be silent and then I press on uh, the board and press on this IC here and then the sound would kind of kick in. Uh, and then I'd press the key again, and it would uh, not not make any sound afterwards, and tap on the component, sound would come back again. So so it's definitely uh, it's a, a bad contact somewhere. So what I'm likely to do is just unscrew these uh, screws here, slide the board out, and clean off the, the contacts a little bit. And I imagine that should fix that issue. Um, the matter of what's affecting this board, though, could be one of a couple things, I imagine. Um, the thing that I don't fully understand is how the auto-tune circuit works, but it may be an issue with um, auto-tune for this particular board. Everything, everything comes back to this component down here for, uh, looks like there's these eight capacitors here, and it's part of the signal path that connects to um, I believe it's control voltages that go out to each of these voice boards. Uh, the reason why there's eight is because this machine is actually capable of having eight voices in it. Uh, this one only has four of them in it, but when you have eight, there's an extra uh, extra set of posts here that are like a hinge, and another board that sit a sort of uh, carrier board sits on top of this and holds the other four uh, voices. So you can see there's only uh, adjustment pots for the four would be another one of these that would match. So, what I have to learn about is, well, I guess, it could go one of two ways. It could be an issue with uh, uh, the auto-tune circuit itself, or maybe this board is just out of tune. It's so far out of tune that it's not possible to, uh, I'll show you here if you bring the lamp around, you can see there's the auto-tune button there. And press it. It's supposed to tune the synthesizer. And so, that's uh, that's what I have to address.